So in March of last year, I deleted my Facebook account, which many would consider a particularly unusual thing to do, especially considering I make most of my income through the internet. But uh, since then, I, well, haven't looked back, actually. And living life without Facebook, uh, with the online presence that I kind of have, um, is very, very, very interesting, especially considering it's like that social network that everyone is expected to be on. Um, and someone who is particularly under 30 and makes their income online not being on Facebook is quite the anomaly. Um, and I'm not really going to talk too much in this video about why I deleted my account or why I'm not going to reopen a Facebook account. I'm going to do that probably about 12 months on from when I actually deleted it. It's sort of a year in review uh, of, of someone who spends a lot of time online without a Facebook account because it's, uh, I've got to say, I've learned quite a lot from it. But the other day I was reading a, a blog post uh, which talked about how Facebook keeps a lot of the data that you think is uh, has been deleted or is, you know, a lot of information might become pro public when you thought it was private and uh, how, you know, privacy features might not be particularly widely or fully understood by a lot of people. And uh, one of the uh, points in the article was that when you delete your Facebook account, Facebook actually retains a surprisingly large amount of information even some time on after dele deleting your account. And also a lot of people uh, who think that they're deleting their Facebook account actually just end up deactivating it, which is just sort of putting it in a state of st stasis um, and then, you know, Facebook sort of retain all that information. Uh, and. Um, and that might not necessarily be, you know, a situation you want to put yourself in. If you uh, want to close your Facebook account, it's usually because, for one reason or another, you don't want Facebook to have the amount of information that it has on you. And there are a lot of reasons for this, and Facebook holds a lot more information than might, be, might initially be apparent. Um, so, uh, the paranoid you know, person in me uh, decided to actually check out uh, some of the things I mentioned in this article and I tried to see if I could actually log into my own account because I was pretty sure I, I fully deleted it and I went through the um, the deletion process rather than just the deactivation process when I did. Um, and I actually managed to recover my account using the password recovery even though I'm pretty certain it had been properly deleted and I was pretty concerned about this. A lot of my information, my photos and things like my details, my phone numbers, my address, all that kind of stuff, that wasn't, uh, that was deleted, that wasn't um, on the account. But there was, uh, you know, like a profile pic and, and, and certain recovery options um, that linked back to me that Facebook still retained which I really wasn't comfortable about that. So the point of this video, the message in this video, um, and the reason I made it, is to say that if you ever sort of find yourself wishing to delete your Facebook account, and I'm, uh, I'm sure that the number of people who, who want to actually delete their Facebook account is increasing day on day every time Facebook either uh, mess up on um, you know, one of their services, leaks a lot of information, uh, maybe you might not be comfortable with how they handle you know, payment processing, maybe you might not be happy with um, just being... Um, you know, in a position where a lot of your life becomes very transparent. Maybe you're not happy with the fact that uh, Facebook uh, keep a lot of information on what kind of websites you visit and they uh, use that to correlate advertising with your um, browsing habits and what you do online. And maybe, you know, these are things that you don't necessarily consent to. And, and when I talk about privacy online and um, information online and how information is handled, the key word in all of this is, is consent. Uh, and it's all about, um, uh, you know, people treating you um, consensually with, you know, how you wish to be treated and how you wish your personal information to be treated. Very similar in a way how, to how you wish to be treated in real life. Everything that you do online, just like everything you do in the, in the real world, should be done with your consent. Um, and if that consent is not met, then, you know, uh, of course, Facebook should really get rid of that data. Um, so if you were to find yourself in a position where you didn't want to have a Facebook account anymore, I highly recommend filling your Facebook account full of phony data before deleting it. That's fake recovery email addresses, fake... Um, uh, you know, profile photographs, fake banner photographs, all that kind of stuff. Just flood your profile with the complete nonsense stuff. Just Google the first thing that comes into your mind. You know, Google image search, the first thing that comes into your mind. Find a load of random stock images, put them onto your profile, and then just delete your profile that way. Because at least, because what, what it appeared to be from when I logged in is that it just took like a snapshot of my profile when I left it. 
and everything behind that. So like my, you know, photos from the past were gone, um, and, and uh, you know, a lot of data was was fully deleted, but not everything. So uh, and and things like recovery email addresses, uh, which is particularly troubling because recovery email addresses and email addresses linked to your Facebook account are things that can eventually sort of come back to you um, and could be linked back to you and, and maybe that's not something you want to do with your Facebook account so yeah just a, a word to the wise is that if you ever decide you want to get rid of your Facebook account fill it with phony information and um, and delete any sort of you know recovery options and delete everything individually and specifically uh, before you actually delete the account yourself so make sure that you completely clean house don't expect everything to be deleted just because you said that you uh, you want your Facebook account to be deleted for reasons that we have seen in the past many many times um, Facebook cannot be trusted with information in my at least in my personal opinion and I know that I'm not the only one that personally shares this um, and like I say I, I you know I, I preach a lot about uh, protecting yourself online and, and privacy online and a lot of it is is uh, a lot of it's just sort of protecting yourself and a lot of it is just knowing uh, what kind of information companies have on you and sort of just being sort of aware and educated. A lot of it isn't necessarily putting a tinfoil hat on and just keeping um, yourself as private as possible. It's about just, uh, well, consent and allowing companies that you trust to handle your information um, in ways that you trust rather than um, just sort of becoming an open book. Um, because, you know, you... Um, uh, you know, it could be dangerous to have too much information about you out, out there. Uh, even from a, a particular point, the, the the example that I always use is that um, uh, you know a lot of um, scams and, um, and and identity thefts come because people put a lot of you know a, a lot of people fall victim to identity theft because they put a lot of information of themselves out there online. A lot of people, uh, particularly during the summer, find that when they're on holiday, they of course announce it on Facebook and they announce it on Twitter and. Uh, it becomes very apparent to a lot of possible burglars in the area uh, when houses are empty over the course of a week when people have gone on holiday. And there are a great number of dangers about being sort of too transparent online. Um, and you know, I you know I've been stung quite a few times with um, uh, people trying to uh, commit identity fraud against me, and I think it happens to the the best of us. Um, but then again, you know, I think that's, you know, you live and learn, I guess. Um, but anyway, guys, that's just a few thoughts on um, on sort of internet privacy and, and particularly with Facebook and, and, and the fact that I was a little bit concerned that Facebook retained a profile picture and some certain contact information of mine um, just sort of made me, made me a little bit uneasy because I did, uh, you know, I did sort of ask them to fully delete my account and, uh, and they effectively didn't do it. They kept a lot of, they, they kept my account in, in, uh, you know, a, a very limited form, but it was still in a form of deactivation rather than deletion. So, um, so whenever you do sort of decide, or if you ever decide to remove your Facebook account from the internet forever, it's worth sort of deleting all that individual information and deleting the individual photos that you might have in there separately, and then filling it full of dud information and then deactivating it. Um, so, thanks very much for watching. That's about it from me today. Until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.